All right, hey, what's up, guys? Uh, something new ink here, and I bring you some Daisy standalone gameplay. This has been leaked. I first off, I want to say I do not recommend getting this. I will not link any downloads. I I don't want you to get this mainly because I've seen way too many people judging this game already, and that's mainly because this this version that they have is like what it, it's. It's very old. That's all I could tell you. It's like one point, like version 0.14, I believe. And quite frankly, do not judge the game based on what you see here. I wouldn't even let this influence anything. You, you should just leave this video pretending you've never seen this. Because although there's some pretty cool stuff in this, um, I really do not think you should judge anything right now based on a V0.14 build. That's... It's basically essentially saying the official game is going to be 10 times better than this. Now, first thing we got here is the player customization is already in. That's pretty cool. And you might you might notice, I'm just going to clear this up now, there's like a lag spike every 2 to 4 seconds. And that's just straight up the game. I don't know what it is. But like I said, this is like a V1.0. Not even, I'm sorry, it's V version 0 0.14 so that will be fixed I mean there's no way they would let that be in the actual official game so let's get into some gameplay here I open up my gear menu this is the gear menu it's obviously very alpha I doubt they just leave these transparent boxes here in the future builds um, I, I think it's pretty cool it's like so it's, it's similar to Arma 3 as to how you could put things in your jeans you could put them in your backpack or your shirt even uh, I started off with some sodas I think these are yeah these are beans um, it doesn't look like they have a mechanic to eat with yet. Uh, I also didn't start with any ammo in my AK, so I, I, I really just getting, barely getting into this. And again, I apologize for the lag spikes, but as I said, this is very alpha, and I wouldn't even judge the game at all based on this. Uh, let me just show you a bit of the customization. That works fine, uh, at the moment. I could put my helmet in my jeans. Uh, you could just go ahead and customize. You could just take everything off. Uh, I don't know where I could put my jeans into. Let me see. Yeah, I can put my jeans into my backpack. There you go. Now I just run around my boxers. Put my red checkers. Oh, I see how this works. It's it's like a... Ah, oh, what's that game? Was it Resident Evil that let you do that? Yeah, you see it's like the big box and it shows how much it takes up. That's a pretty cool mechanic. I like that. I like that. that that's pretty cool. It's like... It, re it reminds me of things. Good things. To say. Let's just put those back on because I'm sure you don't want to see that. Uh, it's a little too much. I'm just gonna keep my head open because, oh my goodness, I just noticed my hair looks beautiful. I look like a natural person. Wow, I actually do like a le look like a legitimate person. Um, let's keep going. Uh, let's adventure a bit of this town. Uh, don't know if there's any zombies. I literally just got this. Again, I'm going to keep stressing this. Do not judge the game based on this. And I just realized you can actually go into pretty much every house in this. That's what I've heard. And I can see through the windows right now, so... You know, let's check it out. Let's go see. Alright. Going to first person here. Let's open this. Open up. There you go. And oh my goodness, this looks this looks really nice already, actually. It looks terrible. Let me look inside the other door. Oh, it's still got that cute little bug. Alright, well whatever. Let me see. Can I open this? It's really hard to do with all the lag spikes. There you go. These interiors are really nice. I love the scavenging mechanic in this now, to be honest. You can just pick up things. You, you find them scattered on the floor. Instead of actual, um, hold on, I'm still trying to work this, work this out. Closed door. Well, I don't know. That's a little buggy, from what I could tell. Pretty much everything in this is buggy right now. But that's because this is a pre-alpha. Some, uh, soda on the ground. Yeah, there you go, I got some drink. Your fault, you could just straight up drink it, but I don't think that works right now, so I'm just gonna take it. Yeah, there's stuff scavenged all over the floor. You see them on the houses, not in the houses. Stuff on shelves like that right there. You got a lot of cool stuff. I really like what they're doing with this. Um, it looks really nice. It, it just looks a lot more like somebody used to live here. There's some furniture, you know. Unlike the Daisy where all the furniture has apparently been shoplifted. And I think that's really cool what they've done with that. Um, continuing on. And oh my goodness, that lag spike is starting to get really annoying. I'm pretty sure you could like check stuff in cars now. Is there anything in this one? No. Continuing on. Let's try, uh... How do I run? I gotta do hold down the shift button, so that's similar to Arma, and that's a pretty cool parkour vault right there. Let me see if I can show you that. It's not like they'll stand them up, except they do have that if you are standing still, but let's check this out right here. 
that's pretty cool, I think. Except I double tapped it, so now I got two. But um, you know, that's pretty cool. Um, let's just look around a bit more. Take a couple, take a couple sides. This is Daisy's standalone, very early alpha. I want to get, I want to get in some sites. Do I have a map? No, I don't start with a map. Except, are those? Is that compass and a watch down there? Huh. That's strange. I, I can't bring them up, but I, I don't know. Anyways, like I said, very early alpha. I do not recommend getting this because. And, well, if you do end up getting it, and I'm not recommending this, do not judge it at all. Make sure you judge standalone and standalone in the um, actual release of it, not this. Because this is this. If this was standalone right now, I could tell you this is horrible. But this is a really nice little uh, preview into what we'll be seeing. Of course, really just some of the mechanics, like the uh, obviously that has to be fixed where I opened the door behind me instead of the front one. Let's just scroll. And try and open that one. There you go. Um, it really shows. I guess what you can see right now is basically like a scavenging mechanic. I haven't seen any zombies yet, so I don't know if they have those in. Um, I'll try and search for some right now. But yeah, there's like a. You could actually go upstairs. Hey, that's a new one. And imagine combat in these in these windows. Like imagine fighting somebody on the outside. I don't think I could actually raise my gun because it has no ammo in it. But um, like imagine fighting somebody throughout these windows. They're coming up the stairs. You gotta like try and peek around corners. This could. Actually, it's a really good combat scenario. I really like the idea of this layout as compared to the other Daisy, the Daisy mod. I'm sorry, the other Daisy. Well, uh, let's go around and let's look for some zombies because I certainly have not seen any, and I would like to see some. So let's see. What do we have? Is there any loot in there? No, I don't think there is. It's all new to me, really. I, I feel a bit new to this, you know, seeing how the loot's all scavenged everywhere. It's like somebody left in a hurry. They couldn't really take their stuff. Obviously, the furniture is still there and everything. Let's go into a couple more buildings. Let's see. Let's see this one right here. Feels weird being able to walk into these buildings because you've never been able to before. Let's go upstairs. Can I go upstairs? I, I don't think I could go upstairs just yet. I'm sure they'll add it, but I don't. Not in this building. I don't think I'll be able to go upstairs. All right, let's open this door. All right, yeah, you got a nice little kitchen. You know, I mean, to be honest, you could make. You could probably even like make some useful stuff out of these houses. Maybe like a little base, a little outpost. I don't know. It seems pretty cool. Um, the top right. I don't believe they'll just leave a visible thing there. I mean, it seems really alpha stuff that we're looking at here and that's exactly what it is it is alpha stuff look there's uh, some more things there's a bandage take the bandage all right um sorry about that i think that was just uh what kind of sound was that name that sound in the comments i think it was facebook though because i think i do have facebook open right now just talking about how you know the xbox one is uh what is it 500 bucks you know i I'm, i don't really support it but i'm a pc gamer in the first place so it's not really my issue. Topic of the day, Xbox One or PS4. Say it in the comments. Please don't get mad about it, though. I hate Flame Wars. I hate Flame Wars, especially when they have nothing to do with me at all. So, you know, yeah. Uh, in other news, it doesn't appear to be that... There doesn't appear to be any zombies at all. Let's go check out that barn, and then I think I might just end it there. Uh, and... Nope, still no zombies. Hmm. Very strange. Don't know what's going on there. Uh... Well, actually, I do know what's going on there. It's an alpha build, but I remember seeing a couple other leaked videos, and they did have zombies in them. So, if you want to see the zombies, although I'm pretty sure they're just placeholders right now. They're not the actual zombies that have improved pathing and everything, like they've been uh, talking about. They're just placeholder zombies, so I wouldn't get too excited about it. Um, let's walk over here. Nothing in here. Let's walk up this barn. Can I take damage in this? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try running off this barn in a second just to see if I can take damage. All right. Let me show you the options menu real quick. All right. So if you go to configure, you got you actually got a field of view meter now. Now this thing goes into insane angles, so I think they should probably just cap it at maybe 90 because that if if you could actually play at such an insane level, then you'll have way too much of an advantage in my opinion. I don't I don't know how it'll actually work because like I said, I haven't played the um full version and nobody has so first thing I would like to say um, this game in its current alpha state looks horrendous and plays horrendous well that's probably because I have it all on normal quality because of how uh, unoptimized it is at the moment like I don't know this is less optimized than the Daisy mod 
And that's perfectly understandable, to be honest, because, well, it, like I said, and I'll say it again, it's in 0 0.1.4. That was slaughtered, I'm sorry. 0 0.14. I'm sorry. I failed you. But, yeah. So, um, let's just do one last thing. Let's crank up all of the settings to the max and just get a good look at how this alpha version looks. I don't know if they're gonna change the, uh, except for V-Sync. V-Sync sucks. Um, <laughs> I don't know if they're actually gonna change these things in the future, but let's just crank everything up to very, well, default on video memory already. Let's crank everything up to very high, get a good look at how it looks, and hopefully, you know, we could, uh, start having some hope, because I see a lot of people complaining about how it doesn't look good, about how it's really laggy, and that's fine, but, you know, you gotta remember, this is a pre-alpha, so, you know, whatever. I'm just really stoked for this. Oh, those volumetric clouds, I'm pretty sure, uh, this is actually on the Armor 3 engine. I'm not 100% sure, though, but, here, anti-aliasing, let's turn that up, except I kinda hate it, but whatever. Now, one of the things I've never seen before in a game is alpha to coverage. I have no idea what that is. Oh, okay, okay, that's a talk. All right, I'm just gonna leave that off because I don't know. I don't know why, but I'm just gonna leave that all off. Uh, let's turn ambient occlusion off and let's not. Let's turn bloom on, and let's turn post processing on low. I said I'd crank it up to the max, but I'm sorry, I just can't. I, it'd be so laggy. My computer isn't exactly the best, so yeah, my computer isn't exactly the best, so don't expect a beautiful game. I mean, not a beautiful, a smooth running game. Let's continue. And quite frankly... Wait, did I not save my settings? Yeah, I thought so. Alright, I didn't save my settings. Give me a second, let me just... Let me just do this real quick here. I don't wanna... I'm sorry to keep you waiting, but, you know, it's, it's really, uh... I don't wanna say it's weird, because it isn't, but, um... Turn bloom up, post processing, put it on low, HDR, normal, edge. Uh, Alright, close that. You have to press close instead of cancel, and I press cancel. I'm sorry, I wasn't looking. It's silly me, I'm sorry. Keep that on there, very high, very high, close that. Quality, objects, very high. Uh, come on, very high. There you go, that's how laggy it is right now. Just get a good idea. It's on high? Alright, well, apparently it's decided to be the laggiest game on the face of the earth, but that's okay. That's okay, because you're an alpha. See, if this were another game, then I would be very mad. A game that was complete, I'm sorry. So let's close that, and let's close that. Close. Continue. And oh my goodness, this is the laggiest experience I've ever had. Oh my goodness. Well, there's your idea of that's how it looks. There you go. Let's just stand still. That's how it looks currently in its current state. Not too shabby, I would say, but it definitely needs some work. A lot of work. Which will be done because this is an alpha. There you go. There you have it. Um, first look at Daisy standalone. Probably not your first look because this was leaked quite a bit ago, but I just wanted to show it. Uh, don't recommend getting this at the moment because of the reasons I've already stated. Don't get it if you love beautiful things until it's actually released. Um, so yeah, there you go. First look at Daisy Standalone. I hope you enjoyed it. I am totally stoked for Standalone. See ya.